What type of horse personality do you prefer? Do you like quiet horses? Do you like more reactive horses? Do you have a preference for mares or for geldings? I'm Callie and this is the CRK training blog and for this week's video I received a question about what my preference is, mares, geldings, or stallions. But I wanted to go a little bit deeper than just talking about the different horse genders because when we think about the question of mares versus geldings, a lot of times it goes a little deeper. It's more of a question about what type of a personality horse we also like that we maybe get along with the best. But personality can have a lot of different influences and that's what we're going to cover in today's video. The three main influences of a horse's personality is going to be number one, their breeding and their genetics. So while there's exceptions, generally we're going to have a hotter, more reactive horse in a thoroughbred than we are in a big draft breed like a Percheron or a Clydesdale. Now, training and experiences also play a really big role in a horse's personality. So a horse's experiences start when they're just a young foal. And things that that horse learns from people and from even its interaction with its mother and with other horses are gonna play a really big role in how that horse's personality develops. If it learns to be fearful, if it develops uh, negative or positive associations with people and with all the different things that we do with horses when we're working with them. The third factor is environment and environment can vary and can change a horse's personality. So for example, if we have a horse that does very well and is, is friendly and agreeable and quiet when he's turned out for most of the day in a big field, his personality could change completely if we took that same horse and we suddenly began to stable him and keep him in a stall for most or all of the day. He might suddenly become more irritable, he might become much harder to handle and hotter or more reactive when we go to work with him or ride him just because his environment has changed. So when we talk about personality, it's more than just an innate um, disposition you know that a horse is born with or that he has genetically but instead it's all these factors that are going to come into play that's going to determine how that horse actually behaves and how that horse interacts with different people so this is kind of the base of what what creates a horse's personality but then we also have the discussion of horse gender and this is something that many trainers and a lot of barn owners actually feel really strongly about, uh, particularly the arg argument between mares and geldings and which makes for a better riding horse. And some people actually have str such a strong feeling on this that they will only allow geldings in their barn. So let's go over the facts first and then I'll share my own opinions. So. A gelding, for anyone that's watching that's not familiar, a gelding is basically a fixed, a castrated male horse. And most mares are left unordered. So mares are going to be more hormonal than geldings. Because of that, we might see more personality changes, we might see more mood swings, and some days we might feel like we have a different horse when we have a mare than when we have a gelding. Stallions are kind of in a different class that they're generally for experienced horse people and experienced riders as stallions are again unaltered. They have usually a much uh, stronger personality and they are more likely to display or to develop habits of aggression. Again, with stallions, a, a big part of the personality of a stallion is gonna depend on the environment. So most of the stallions that tend to develop some of the really unpredictable or aggressive behaviors that has kind of become associated with them are usually the ones that we manage in a way where they don't get much socialization. Some of them don't necessarily get a lot of exercise and they can be uh, very frustrated and just 
you know, not the happiest horses, and that can make them more irritable than a stallion that has a more normal social life. So again, it's not all about gender. A lot of it is about these other factors that determine a horse's temperament and personality. Now going back between mares and geldings, while we've already determined that mares are going to naturally be more hormonal and might have some more behavior changes or temperament changes because of that, they're also very manageable. So most of the time, in my experience, I actually enjoy mares because they have, a lot of them have a little bit of extra, I'd call it like spunk or a little extra spark or just kind of a little extra something that I find really enjoyable working with them. I find that many mares are highly intelligent and that can make them a lot of fun to work with, but in some situations, it could also make them more difficult to train depending on the context and if, if the horse's uh, personality and behavior is not taken into consideration. The bottom line is that both mares and geldings can make excellent horses. They can make excellent riding horses and they can both be very good for any level of rider. It really depends more on the individual horse and I think that mares sometimes get a little more of a bad rap than they deserve. I personally really enjoy my own mares and I find that it is very manageable to have both mares and geldings at the same barn and in some cases even in mixed herds. So that is my thoughts on horse gender and horse personality. If you have anything to add, I would love to see your comments and I'd also love to hear about your own horse and your own experiences with both personality and gender. So for the best conversation, go to crktrainingblog.com. Go there, that's where I have many other free videos that you can watch and I look forward to seeing you in the comments. Thanks for watching.